Greetings, and welcome back to EdTech Moment, where we take just a moment to help you integrate technology into your classroom. I'm your host today, Tim McKee. Have you ever wanted to create a custom logo for your class or club, or create a header for a website or a document, or even customize buttons for a website or an interactive project? Today we're going to take a look at a tool that will allow you to do exactly those things at cooltext.com. Cooltext.com lets you start with a piece of text and then add interesting graphic effects and fonts. So let's say I wanted to create a new custom logo for a tech moment. Here at Cooltext, first thing I need to do is choose one of these logo styles. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to choose the glowing steel style. Next, I need to type in the text I want to use. So I'm going to type in Ed Tech Moment. I can click on the font to choose a different font. There are many different fonts you can choose from. You can choose from the different categories or just start browsing through uh, by alphabet. So I'm going to click on Modern. And I'm going to go ahead and choose this font down here. The Monkeys Ate My Soul. I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. Okay, now I can see my text using the font that I chose. If I wanted to choose a different font, I can continue to come back and choose different fonts from the list by just clicking on the fonts and then previewing it there. In addition to choosing a custom font, I can then specify the size, I can choose colors, and any other kind of specific details that go along with the logo style that you chose. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 70, but I'm going to choose a green glow. And glow size at 5. Again, it'll show me a preview right at the top here. If I don't like the logo, I can always go back, change settings, or even go all the way back to the beginning and change the logo style that I chose to start with. Once I've got it set the way I want, the last thing I need to do is choose which file format I'm going to choose. We can choose from a, a GIF format, a GIF with transparency, a JPEG, PNG, PNG with transparency, a Photoshop with layers, and a native GIMP format if you're using the GIMP image editor. I usually go ahead and use PNG with transparency. A PNG is a portable network graphic, and the transparency allows it to go into projects without a white background. So that's the one I'm going to choose. And then I hit the Render Logo button. Now that's going to render out the logo the, exactly the way I specified it. I'm going to go ahead and choose download image and then save that file to my computer. Now I can use that in a website, I can use that in a document, a presentation, a video, anything that I choose to. By choosing different fonts, logo effects, sizes and colors, there are thousands of different looks that I can create with Cooltext.com's logo creators. If I don't need a logo, another thing that Cooltext does as well is to generate buttons. If I come down below the area where the logo styles are, then I can also see that there is a whole section for button design. And again, following the same path, I can choose one of the preset templates, add my text, choose graphics, and choose the settings, and create custom buttons for my class website or interactive projects. Please remember to visit our site at edtechmoment.com. Subscribe to our show in the iTunes store so that you can be automatically updated when new episodes are available. And while you're in iTunes, leave us a review and let us know how we're doing. You can also send us email at feedback at edtechmoment.com or follow us on Twitter at edtechmoment. Thanks for taking a moment. Thank you.